Hi everyone, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Zara Kalala, and today I'm going to be turning this Sylvanian family's house or Calico Critters house into a Sanrio Animal Crossing house. So let's get into it. This is the house. It's a bit like, it's so big. It's way bigger than I thought. I got it off Facebook Marketplace. So I'll kind of show you in this top down camera and also in my camera view here. So you can see the house. The door opens up. So these houses just really, really, really remind me of Animal Crossing houses. And I also got like a ladder with it. So you can, oops, the door keeps opening. You can put the ladder on here. Then I got two little like uh, Sylvanian families. The rabbits, I know in America they're called like calico critters, but yeah, we call them Sylvanian families in the UK. So I got two rabbits, and then I also got a table, a bench, a little bed with a like cover and kind of mattressy pillow thing, and then I also got this like oven um, and sink combo and the cupboards even like open and even the oven opens but that was really cool and like there's giant frying pan so that's cool and then lastly I got this oh my gosh well that's just gone everywhere I got a tray and like a teapot I just dropped the lid oh I'll have to find that in a minute and yeah so I think what I'm actually gonna do is because this like top area is blocking a lot of the light I'm going to remove the ladder and I'm going to take this top off and I did it earlier and I realised if you flip it around it actually can turn into like grass so that's quite cool so for now I'm basically just like going to take everything out I'm not going to use any of the items except for the tray and like the little kettle once I find the lid and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all of items for cinema rolls like uh house or like the items you can get basically in animal crossing and i thought this would be such a like cool base it's so big like i'm so surprised it just fits in my camera so yeah unfortunately i won't really be needing any of these items i can't remember the character that comes with cinema roll but what i might try and do is find a similar like sylvanian families character to go along with it and then yeah i'll see how i go but the main thing i want to do really is just like the items for cinema so i've actually printed them all off here i might show them on the screen properly as well and i'm going to be making the parasol the cinema signage the sofa the stool and the table and i'm going to be making it all out of clay so let's get started so to start off with i worked on the sofa and i made like a rectangular shape and just smoothed out of my rolling pin and i'm using the bench that i got with like the sylvanian family's house and everything just for like the size reference so that the sofa wasn't like too big or too small and then i used my blade to kind of just cut this down so that it was to size and you know a bit neater and then i just like rounded out the edges with my finger then I moved on to doing the arms of the sofa so I did this in a similar way just shaping like a kind of rounded rectangle rolling it out with my rolling pin and then using my blade to cut it down to size so let me know in the comments below your favorite animal crossing character and also your favorite Sanrio character so I can't really tell you what mine is because my Sanrio character always changes but for animal crossing I really love stitches I think he's really like such a cute bear and I really wish that they brought him out with those um friend style animal crossing like little figures they did I managed to get one and you will be able to see which one I got at the end of the video so for the back of the sofa obviously it's like cinema roll's head so it's kind of like a semi-circle shape so I've rolled a shape out like that and made sure it kind of fitted and then I used my craft knife to kind of just cut out the correct shape and then like cut in the ear shape as well and then once I've like cured everything in the oven like baked everything I'm going to be adding in all the details of my Posca pens like acrylic paint markers to add in like all the face features and stuff on everything I'm making. 
so once I was like happy with the shape I pressed on the bottom of the sofa to the back and the sofa was complete then I moved on to doing one of the like coffee cup stores they're so cute like I want one of these in my house I think they're so adorable so I made like a basically a sphere and then I cut the top off to get kind of the copy cup shape <laughs> the copy cup shape and then I made a base for it so I did uh, basically a circle and then I used one of my ball tools to like get that I don't know what you call it the con concave shape and I also rolled out like a worm of clay and put this on the base of the cup then I pressed down that circle that I had just made and you can kind of see here it's like coming together and looking like that cup shape obviously you can make yours hollow but I don't have anything to wrap clay around to make like a whole ball shape I need to get some wooden balls so that I'm able to do it in future but yeah that will be for another time next I rolled out some brown clay and I used the frying pan to get like a circular shape um I need to get some silver cutters as well I think I need to get a few things for my clay making so yeah anyway I cut the circle shape out and pressed this on to the cup and just using my fingers again to smooth it down then I needed to make a handle so I rolled out a little worm and cut that down to size and kind of pressed it in place here I was looking for a perfect place to put it and then I used like one of my clay tools just to make sure it was like pressed onto it properly otherwise it could fall off and then that was the cup still done next I moved on to doing the table so I cut out a circle and then I used my clay tool to like make these indents so it kind of looks like a flower table or maybe it's meant to be a cloud I don't know what do you think it's meant to be and that was going to be like the top of the table then I grabbed a cocktail stick and I wrapped some white clay around this and this is just to give the table a bit more like stability um, alternatively you could like make the table leg and um, stand I guess that's what it's called and then glue it on afterwards but yeah I decided to do it this way around so once that was wrapped up I made three like of these little table legs and pressed it on to that base and I was a bit worried about doing this because it could always turn out wonky but basically if that happens you can always like sand some of the clay down so to like make it straight and yeah so that was the like table stand and legs and then I pressed this in to that tabletop and then I'm going to bake it this way so it's like upside down and I just grabbed a clay tool to kind of like smooth that table stand onto the like bottom of the tabletop then I moved on to making like this chalkboard sign and I grabbed kind of this like bluey turquoisey colour um whichever colour it is and made a rectangle and then I kind of like folded it in half to like make a crease then I got some brown clay which is like the wood of the sign and I cut out like a couple of long bits for the sides and then I cut out about four kind of rectangles for the um top bottom and then like the middle part and I just pressed this down onto the clay and I used my blade just to like neaten up all the edges again this one I was a little bit nervous about because it's like a folded in half thing maybe next time it would be better to make this out of cardboard but yeah this is kind of a clay video so I thought why not I'll just do it out of clay then I made a little like cinema roll head with some hands as he's like kind of hanging over the side I didn't realize there was like a back to cinema roll so it kind of showed his body at the back and his little legs um until I'd kind of finished it and got to the editing stage so unfortunately I didn't do his legs but I did do his head and then like his hands so this was a super cute little model to make as well just making like a semicircle and then the ears and use a my clay tool just to smooth everything down together nicely and then I made his like little paws again just using some more clay making like these kind of I don't really know how to explain the shape but you can see it and then using my clay tool to again like smooth it down onto like Slimmerel's head
Then I just made sure that he fitted on the sign. Next I moved on to making these like two cushions which are cinnamon buns so I just grabbed my like brownie clay and made these two kind of ball shapes. And I also made another of these teacup seats because I couldn't make the parasol, I was struggling so much that I decided just to make another seat. After all of that I'd baked it in the oven. So I did it for half an hour at 110 degrees Celsius. Then once they'd come out and they were nicely cooled down, I started adding all of the details onto everything I had just made using my Posca markers. These are just perfect for this job. And I also coloured a bit of brown on it to the seats because a bit of the white got on it and I just wanted to like cover it up and make it nice and neat. And again, just like drawing Cinema Roll's face on basically everything I made. <laughs> So let me know like which item you would love to have in your home if you could actually get one of these items in real life. For me it literally has to be this one, it has to be the cup store. It's so, it's so cute. Or even actually the sofa, that would be so cool. But I mean because it's white it would probably get dirty but whatever, it's still cute isn't it? I also made this like cute little coffee cup, I forgot to film it. And then I yep, added on Cinema Roll's face, this was really hard because it's super tiny. <laughs> Uh, but I basically made like a cup shape and then I put brown clay in it to look like coffee or like tea. And then I coloured in pink and did a white swell on it to the like Cinnabon cushions. And after that all the clay sculpting was complete. So I wanted to make the Cinema Roll rug so I've printed the picture out onto some like iron on transfer. And I'm going to iron it onto this piece of felt and then I can like cut out the felt once it's all ironed on. So I've cut it out. Also, if you're gonna do this, make sure to mirror your image because I'm gonna now flip this over, place it onto my felt, and then I've got this piece of like, it's kind of like um, grease proof paper or like bacon paper. And then you simply iron on the design. So I've ironed it and now I'm just going to like peel it off. That's not so bad. I thought originally I was going to cut it. I was going to use paper. I thought let me try this. Ideally I would have done this on like white felt but I don't have any. This is the closest I had. So I'm just gonna cut this out and there we have one cinema roll rug. So here is the house. Um, the top floor is like flipped over and then it turns into like this grass area and I've printed out like the flooring and some paper and put that in. So now I'm ready to put everything in. So we've got the rug, the sofa, and I coloured in the little like cinnamon bun cushions. Then the table, so I coloured the bottom pink. Got the two little like teacup stools. Here's the second one. Got the little tray. And I also went ahead, I don't think I filmed this part. I made like a tiny, like mug. And then we've got the cinema roll sign. And then from my like own stuff, <laughs> I've got this cinema roll, which I got with one of those Hello, Kit Hello Kitty and Friend dolls. Then I've got a Sylvanian Families. I thought I'd put the rabbit in there as well. And then I've got this little cinema roll, which I got from a gacha from Tofu Cute. And I feel like it looks like a little plushie. And then lastly, I've got Tom Nook, which I managed to find in the Entertainer toy shop. And I thought I would put him in here as well. And there is the finished cinema roll animal crossing themed house.
So I hope you enjoyed watching my video. This was really fun to do. I really love cinema roll, obviously. So yeah, definitely let me know which kind of Sanrio character I should do next. And then I think eventually I'll probably move on to doing like different villagers' houses in general. So yeah, please leave a like if you enjoyed watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye! Thank you.